players scoring, it was able to kind of keep the uh, team momentum going. How were you guys focusing on keeping really the ball moving around as much as you were? Um, well, we got credit uh, preparation, and uh, we really prepared for that team. Uh, uh, both all offensively and defensively, and we've been trying to get together and uh, take the necessary steps to get to the to the promised land per se, you know. And, and we we looking down the road and we taking it game by game, but we looking down the road, so we trying to get better as a unit. And, and, and I think that that's why the ball movement was there because our chemistry is rising and everybody's starting to click at the right time. So trouncing off some heat like you guys did, would you say that's a right step? Yeah, I think so because the last couple of games that we had, we had teams up by like 15 or 14, and we just stopped playing defense and let them come back, and it became a game the last two ones. So our coach was really emphasizing on us, like step, basically stepping on their necks when we had them where we wanted them at, and that's what we did today. And we got the people that that need to play in the game for get some experience for later down, on down the line. So I'm sorry, so there, it was a game plan to make sure that you guys, once you were up, you stayed up? Yeah, that's what he'd been emphasizing on all week because last game we was up by 10 with like – we was up by 15 with, with six minutes to go, and we kept fouling and sending them to the line and having stupid turnovers. And the next day he emphasized that. He was just telling us, like, the things we can't do. And during the huddle, KD was like, you know, we've been, we've been here, so let's just do it the right way this time. And we did it. Like you said, man, getting those young guys like Chaney came good tonight off the bench. You know, mm -hmm. Samson got some runs. Nails getting some shots. Greasy not getting mm -hmm. up some shots. So well, having those guys off, off your bench to save your legs to be yeah. turning the time, you need them guys to play so yeah. you won't be gassed on, on back to back. Yeah, and man, uh, to be honest, those guys, we, I mean, since the summertime, we knew those guys could play. You know, and, and we're, we're a deep team. Sometimes we can't show it, you know, because. You know, coach go with the guys he, he, he sees in practice. Coach is an everyday guy, so when he sees, you know, somebody showing up in practice, that's why Chaney got his number called. It wasn't because we were blowing them out or anything like that. It was because of practice and preparation. Chaney had a whole different mindset this week, and he's a heck of a player, you know, and, and Neb, heck of a player. Uh, Griggs, he showed it early in the season. He's a heck of a player, and, and he's just turning the corner, and, and everything on the peak at the right time, man, God willing. Yes, indeed. You know, like you said, Wayne, like, Front court guys, like you said, man, yo, on the boards, hustling all the time. Now, going forward, you know, you got a family meeting tomorrow, Saturday on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Without giving away too much, what do you, you got to think of them guys for the preparation from going forward? <laughs> what do you see them on Saturday? I mean, our coach told us in the locker room, it, it's, it ain't much we could do in one day, the game plan. It's just going to be who's going to be the toughest out there. And that's what he told us. That's, that's going to win the game right there because they got the same amount of time, the game plan, as we do. So it's just going to be who's going to show up that day and who's going to be ready to, to go to war. I mean, he good. He rebound. He, he do his thing. <laughs> I thought it was a fluke, but yeah, he real. He he get them. He real athletic. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no problem.